CataractCoach.com foot pedal position during FACO chop. So we'll show you a simultaneous view of both the microscope view and the foot pedals. So the main video screen is focused on my two foot pedals. The right foot is the FACO foot pedal, the left foot is for the microscope. And on the top right corner of our screen here, that's the view through my microscope. And we've synchronized these for simultaneous viewing. So the beginning of the case is not a lot of foot action. We're just making our paracentesis. We filled the out viscoelastic. Here comes the main incision. Again, the feet aren't really doing much. Notice how the left foot is sitting on the foot rest that's between the focus and the zoom, and the right foot's on the phaco pedal but not actively depressing it. So starting our rexus, again, feet are relatively still during this part of the procedure. The feet are on the pedals, but we're not really stepping on any of the pedals. Important that the pedals are not underneath you. They're actually a little bit in front of you. Like your pedals in the car. To drive a car, the brake and the accelerator pedal are not under you. They're actually in front of you. Yes, they're below you, but they're in front of you. So here's our hydrodissection. Everything is looking good. I'm going to show you the entire case unedited. I think there's a good learning potential in seeing everything. So hydrodissection. Now, here comes the action. We're going to get the phaco probe in the right hand, chopper on the left. So you can see I'm already centering up the scope, preparing for this, adjusting the focus if we need to. There's the centering of the scope. Now, stepping on the pedal position one, get the chopper in the I2. So buzz in, I step on the pedal and chop. And now split the nucleus and still on vacuum here to bring that piece up. And now we can give energy as well. So there it is, just feathering the right foot. Notice how the movement of my right foot is slow and steady. It's not a jerky movement. It's a little bit at a time. Now the second piece of the nucleus, bringing it up, and I'll go down the pedal more to give a little more energy. So very subtle foot movements. So I know we focused on the pedals here, but it's really not a lot of action seen there. So now with the chopper in the safe position and advancing here, more phaco energy going in the eye, etc. Now watch my foot carefully as I come out of the eye, go to position one. Let's get that last piece of nucleus. Go to position one, come out, and now look at my right foot. You notice how I tap that button? For me, that's changing it to the next mode, which is irrigation aspiration to remove lens cortex. So we tap that pedal twice to move over to the next mode. And so now we've got the eye probe coming, stepping on position one. Now there's more vacuum going in the eye. Now we can really give it some vacuum to get that piece down. And so during cortex removal, I'm really um, stepping on the pedal into position two for most of it. I'll retract a little bit at a time, but I'll never go just to position one in removing the cortex. Of course, there's no benefit. We want the vacuum. So we're just titrating the level of vacuum by just a few millimeter movements of the foot at a time. Now very little vacuum for any kind of capital polishing. Look how I come up. Oh, Inadvertently touch the iris. This is a good video to show you. So came off the pedal to release that. Cleaning up a little capsule here, a little polishing coming out of the eye. All right, tap the pedal again. You saw that? That portion of my pedal allows me to advance the FACO machine to the next setting. Now we're on viscoelastic removal. So a high vacuum, but also not high flow to wash out the viscoelastic. There's the viscoelastic fill in the capsule bag, and we don't need the foot pedals here. And now deliver the lens. So I'm only going to show one video of this foot pedal maneuver because this is something you should learn on your own. You're not going to watch your own feet as you operate. When you drive a car, you're not watching what your feet are doing. And so that's something you need to learn without having to really look at it. We decided to make this video just because there's a lot of interest from beginning surgeons to know what's the foot doing at what point during surgery. And so there we go. Now here comes the IA probe, irrigation's on. I'll leave it on position one, get under the nuke, the IOL, and now I'll give more vacuum. So I like to remove all the viscoelastic from behind the IOL. That looks fantastic. And then cleaning up the anterior segment as well. And if there's any remaining viscoelastic, I'll still go back and get it. And here we're just titrating the degree of vacuum with foot pedal position two. So a little more vacuum or a little less. And that looks great. I tend to operate, you see in the video here, with just my socks on. 
I wear the surgical clogs, which I can kick off at the beginning of the case. And then I operate with just socks. You can certainly operate with shoes if that's your preference, but I feel I have a better feel and better control operating with just socks on. And that looks great coming out of the eye. And let's finish this case up. So we'll seal up the incisions and then uh, fix the Irish prolapse here. And we'll call this a day. So thanks for your feedback here. I hope you appreciate the video. And hopefully it'll help some of you young surgeons out there in your quest to do a better and better cataract surgery. And you can see here at the end, I like the result a lot. Lens is beautifully centered. There's a nice capsorexis, overlaps the optic. Everything looks beautiful. We talked about our signature. The signature is that incision. Looks great. Optic looks great. Rexus looks great. Nice case. Thanks for watching.